Well, lucky for me, becoming a vampire has uh, heightened your stupidity because now you're stuck here too. What it's heightened is my urge to do what I should have done in the first place. Kill you. Then why bother to come in here? I thought I owed you a goodbye. You can't kill me. Maybe not in here, but out there, in the real world, where you're completely defenseless. It's another story. Okay, why did I do that? It's bad enough that I can't kill her. Now I'm protecting her? You suck at compulsion. It was my first one, okay? Now will you please let me stop hopping around on one leg like a drunken bunny? Being mind controlled is a major violation of my agency. Fine. Though you did just try to tell someone and I make the rules, remember? Right. Son of a bleep. Hey, bitch. While I shudder at the thought, I need a partner in crime to take Aurora down. More like a canary in the coal mine. Going after gods and bitchy vampires? Hard pass. Your sire bonded to me. You can't pass. You think he bought it? If there's one thing I've always been able to do, it's manipulate Milton Grizzly. Even in astral projection form. As far as he's concerned, I am going to spend some time with my mom to get accustomed to being a vampire, and you are too dangerous to be around. At least that last part's true. But I hate that you made me lie to him. Get over it. This could be the beginning of a beautiful mutually beneficial relationship. Hope for the last time. I don't want to do this. I haven't even gotten my head around being immortal, much less being immortal and on a suicide mission. So mutually beneficial my ass, there is nothing in this for me. Sure there is. Because once Aurora is dead, I'll make you promise not to kill me, and I will send you on your way. You'll be free. Ish. Do you really expect me to believe that? I could make you. It's easier.